Great spacing there by Cutie. Cutie uh, from Bozeman, Montana, making his way all the way over here. It's about a seven hour drive to attend this tournament. Jigglypuff putting in some work. Nigel coming over from WSU. Big forward smash there from Nigel to even up the stocks. <laughs> Nigel playing a safe campy strategy with his Falco, trying to keep uh, QD at bay. It seems to be working out really well for him. It's making it difficult for QT to approach. Forcing him to remain high. Where Nigel can then go up there and snipe for those back airs. And lands that laser to forward smash. Certainly not a guaranteed setup, but if you catch that puff off guard, it'll definitely work. Cutie looking for an edge guard. Great option to go for that ledge. going in, looking for a back air, or Nigel, my bad, Cutie on the chase now. Both players trying to control the center of the stage, big forward smash to, re uh, to get a read on that tech roll there from Nigel. close now. Nigel evening up the percentages. Cutie applying a lot of pressure with these back airs. Cutie looking for an edge guard. Nigel, good recovery, but still punished. Gets to that ledge. Double lasers. And that shield poke from Cutie is going to seal out the stock and the game. Cutie takes game one over Nigel. trajectory on that back air. Cutie going for the forward smash. It's forward air. Not quite enough to send uh, Nigel out. Ooh, Cutie looking for the read there. Actually, it was a bit of a reaction, just a missed space. QD is going to seal out the stock with that back air. I'd say this is a pretty even matchup, uh, Falco and uh, Puff. At least at this level, for sure. Um, Puff just needs to be really aware of Falco's approach options. If he ever approaches with those down airs, he needs to know that it's not safe for Falco and Puff can punish accordingly. Uh, Cutie needs to work on his shield drop platform game, of course, really important for a Puff player. As well as his uh, wave dashing out of shield.
Naja using a back air there, just saying, get out of my way, cutie. Kitty doing a great job of applying pressure to Nigel, even when he's not using an attack. You'll see him just jump, go through Nigel's shield, and just sit there behind Falco. Just out of range of that uh, shine out of shield. And he just applies a ton of pressure to Falco. Forces him to get scared, even roll some more. But great dash dance there from Nigel to get back in at Kitty. Ooh. Oh, Cutie goes for the rest. Not gonna happen. He's gonna die off the top. Really even here, game two. Cutie with a slight lead. Oh, Cutie almost with a huge lead. All right, we're down in the hole. Nigel's gonna be content to stay there. Cutie is gonna wait it out. Smart of him. I'd like to see some more good laser pressure from Nigel. He's showing it off right now. But honestly, I bet once this stage transformation dies down, we're going to see Nigel laser a lot less. He's just playing around with his tech seal. Cutie could go in and fool him right now. Here we go with the lasers. Nigel's making sure Cutie doesn't try to come over. Yeah, watch. The transformation stops, I think Nigel just opts to no longer laser the puff. Kind of an interesting decision. Pulling his, pulling this deficit together though, and for all intents and purposes, we're now even. Cutie goes out, gets the quick forward air, seal the deal on that stock. Nigel failing to punish that pound. Gets in with a neutral air to shine. If you fast fall that and you L cancel, it is safe. Great back air there from Nigel to even things up. Cutie playing, a, or a, ah, Nigel playing a great zoning game right now. Gets in. He's gonna start the aggression. He's got stage control. Cutie quickly takes it back. Goes to the roll. Ooh, Cutie with a bit of a preemptive roll there. Off that ledge. Looking for a way to get Nigel off the stage. Nigel just holding on for dear life. Trades, and that'll do it. Cutie takes it 2-0 over Nigel. And I'll be right back, guys. I have to go stream, or I have to go.